What's up, YouTube? Today is Monday and I am doing a day in my life running a small business and creating another one and just creating everything in my life that I will want to experience and create. So it is now 10.30. I start quite late actually because I work real late into the evenings. I am probably a workaholic. I, I just love what I do. But the pace I do it all at is like pretty slow. It's not like hectic and rushed and like frantic. So I've um, really gotten to know kind of my energy output and what works for me. And actually it was, um, it was coming across a thing called human design. And it's kind of like your natal chart. You put in all your details when you were born and stuff. And it lets you know about your kind of like energy systems. Um, it does it from this like... Um, it just has like this whole completely different take on it and the way it described me as a manifesting generator it just like gave me that acceptance of like that is my energy and that is okay and I can now that I know what that is and it's kind of like validated uh, my experience of it um, I work to my advantages with that and previously I worked in a, a job as a digital producer for a design agency like a web agency making websites and stuff as a project manager so it was very like hectic and frantic and like juggling a million things at once but like very deadline driven and like just so 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 frantic um and because I like to work like slower and make sure like I'll have attention to detail if I work slower and don't have like a deadline to meet because that when I have that pressure I'm like that's when I miss things um so that kind of environment wasn't really suitable for my working style my natural working style because then I was kind of like having to fit into be putting out energy in a way that I'm not naturally inclined like being like really 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 fast but for a long period of time whereas now I can do it to my pace over a long period of time which is fine with me so yeah, that's kind of, what was my point? <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be a long day. <laughs> Last night, I wrote a little list of things that I am doing today. I do this usually every evening. If I don't write it down, then I find myself thinking about all the things that I'm gonna be doing the next day. And so it just gets it out of my head it's on the list, I don't have to think about it because then if my mind tries to travel back there, I'm just like, it's on the list, you don't need to worry, you don't need to think about that right now. This is my list. I'm just looking at it for the first time this morning. First thing I wanted I want to do is check the shipping orders are all going smoothly. Um, last week over Christmas I sent out a whole bunch of shipment orders for my Oracle deck. It's the first time I've ever had to do this and use a fulfillment center where they like um, where they store the Oracle decks and then they pick pack and like put them in the packaging and then go give them to the courier. So I'm just like keeping an eye on it so I get to know how long the process takes for the shipping to actually like start. Then I'm going to prepare an email to my creative partner to tell her just about kind of the shipments that are pending, the payments that are outstanding, payments that are still processing, just kind of other things like business taxi kind of stuff that we need to look into about selling to the European market that I wasn't aware of. So, um, so I'll just pop that in there. I'm going to run another Kickstarter campaign. And I am starting on creating another Oracle deck of my own. So I'm going to start creating the page for that and just figuring out what I will, what I need and, and that kind of thing. So yeah. Okay, and also an important thing for me to do today is I have to make sure that I take breaks. Um, I kind of just sit here on my perch for like hours and then like cross-legged and my knees get really really sore from just like not moving them around they just kind of like get all like <laughs> stuck in like that I don't know they, they ache so I need to make sure that I go out and do a walk I usually walk around with my cats anyway so I'll probably go do that yeah that's what's that's what's happening
exactly two hours so it's now 10 to 1 p.m. and I've gone through everything that I said about the shipping updates. I sent um, my creative partner a huge email. It literally took that two hours, but I had to do like stuff at the same time so that I could write it in the email. Now my next kind of task to get into is creating that next Kickstarter campaign page. So I'm going to take a break now. It's 1 p.m. so the sun is out. I'm gonna go get some vitamin C, um, have a little break away from the screen, go for maybe, I don't know, I don't think he really is in a mood for a walk right now, so I might save that for the afternoon. So yeah, I'm gonna go have a little break and get back into it. I'll probably be in a new outfit because now I am way too hot to be wearing this. I am leaning against my wall because in the kitchen, so I'm in the kitchen, Every time I walk in here, I, there's like this warm area in this corner and I'm always like, what is that? And I've just discovered that it's this wall. This wall feels like a heated floor because it's concrete. And on the other side, on the outside of the house, is where all the sunlight comes in, which is why I never get any sunlight where I actually hang out because at this time of year in winter, it just hits this wall, which is like this like this dead zone of the house really is like you know it's dark over there and you like this is the kitchen so but this is really really warm so you know when you like stand up against the heater in winter and you just like s stand above it and like feel the heat it's like that so it's really nice I think it's been almost two hours since I said the last thing that I was going to do was start the Kickstarter thing and I didn't do that I actually um Went onto my personal Instagram and did a little big long story about the Oracle deck. Haven't been posting on there for most of the year, so a lot of people don't know about it, so I thought I'd share it up on there. And then I've just had lunch. My friend from my previous vlog, Queen, she gave me like a million eggs for Christmas because she knows that I've just started eating eggs. Only if they're free range though. Um, and she found a supplier who she asked if they were happy eggs and the person said yes they're really happy we even have someone that goes and checks on them and like spends time with the chickens so I'm yeah all, all about it and um, so I've been eating eggs like crazy because I need to get through them before they go off because I don't I don't know how long eggs last for and I get a bit like I'm already weirded out by the whole egg thing anyway oh damn it's a bug in here Now I've just remembered that I was wanting to edit my vlog today, um, which will be the one that probably got posted before this one. So I'm going to go to that now because I want to get it up tonight. <laughs> Let's go make tea. I was like, hmm, something's not quite right. This is the the hot water thing. It's not a jug, but it's like I've never seen one of these before. This thing boils the water and keeps it warm. I don't, I don't let it keep it warm though, because I just feel like it's a waste of electricity. Sorry, I'll try not to stuff my feet on the ground. With my slippers. Okay, to the editing suite. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm scuffling again.
think this hen might have laid some eggs in this aloe vera pot. I'll take a look later when she leaves. I'm wondering if there's going to be baby chickens born from there. <laughs>